Cal defeat this afternoon at Peterborough Sports. Sum up your thoughts after that game. I think when you come away to what is going to be a difficult place to come for teams, I think quite a, a unique challenge. I think they're very good at what they do. And very, very effective front line mix of, of talent. It's going to be a tough place to come. When you come away to a place like this and you score twice, um, and you create not necessarily chances, um, moments in terms of areas and feel like you're getting good territory, um, you've got to really point the finger at yourselves when you concede three. Um, and I think the goals that we've conceded are really, really poor that we should be really disappointed with. Um, so there's, there's parts of a performance in terms of can, not so much controlling, but being able to be a threat and getting in good areas and good positions. Um, but if you're going to come and concede the goals that we have, I think we've we've got to look at ourselves there defensively because that that isn't acceptable. And it's, it's certainly not what not what I want us to be. Definitely, almost in that first half an hour, they've they've got that two goal head start. But again, your side showed character, and after 55 minutes, we're, we're back all square. Can't question character. Can't question appetite and desire to win a game. Like you say, we've given them a head start. Don't think we got off the coach. I think. We need to look at how we travel to these games with really extreme journeys in terms of on the day. It's difficult and I think we've got to look at that because our away record over a period of time is what our away record is and I'm determined to change that. So that's on me and I've got to look at that with the club as to how we, we do that better. But yeah, we, I don't think we got going. Um, after the second goal, I think we had two goals ruled out. Um, I'd love to see the second one again. I'm really, really intrigued by the second one again. Some, someone said in terms of footage as to, to what it looks like. We'll look at that and what I fully expect then um, is the goal's been ruled out and you'll get the apology and we just have to move on and get on with it. And that's not acceptable. If they are the type of calls that go against us, they have a big bearing on games, particularly a long way from home. Character to come back in the game from 2-0 down to score when we did. And by the way, keep pushing it at 2-0 to not just abandon a, a result. I think it's a reflection on the type of group. But what there is, is a, a mentality that I've got to improve. And it's only I, the only individual that gets criticised when we perform like that, is I, and that's exactly how it should be. And I knew that when I took the job. I, I knew the job I was taking, and I knew the the challenges that it would be present, present me. Um, but I've got to try and affect and influence that mentality as to how we defend direct play and how we enjoy defending our box that are, for me, bread and butter, basics of defending um, that I don't think we've done today. I think we saw it in a different way at Alfred from set plays, but we are going to face challenges like that and we've got to do it better than we did today because that, that wasn't acceptable. The players know it, um, but in terms of a general performance, I think that's the really frustrating bit is that we can't look um, at a complete 90 minutes wasted effort. It's the fact that we've come away, worked very, very hard to score two goals, had some misfortune in terms of decisions and conceded three really disappointing goals. Talk about one of the goal scorers, Adam Thomas, not just his goal, but his, his all-round play. It was great to see him, obviously, his first league start for the club as well to, to make such an impact. He was excellent. He was absolutely excellent. Um, he's a player with proven pedigree at this level, experience, physicality, goal threat, um, in terms of creating chances as well. And I thought he was absolutely excellent. I thought our front line did what we asked of them. We've scored two goals away. Um, those performances, quite rightly, won't be the headlines, won't be spoken about. It'll be a reflection of the fact that we've gone away from home, scored two goals and conceded three really disappointing goals that ultimately can talk about performance all alike. I can say, say it during the week that we played well. If you keep losing games and that becomes a habit, um, that's not what I intend for us to be and ultimately that reflects on me. So some really, really pleasing performances as individuals. The, the only criticism that gets levelled at an individual, that comes to me, comes at my door. Obviously, it's been a, a hectic seven days with those three games. You've got a week now to work on what's going to be another busy period, the bank holiday at home to Fylde and away to Curzon. Yeah, double header. Um, be a big test for our group physically. Um, I think my big reflections from the opening four games are we've had a tough start in terms of fixtures, but you do play everyone home and away. Um, there's a real frustration from midweek that what I thought was a good performance didn't get the points return that we would have wanted. And then you come away to a place like this and to be disappointed with the way the game goes, with the way you start the game to get back into it and then ultimately throw it away. Um, so, we, like you say, we've got a full week's work to prepare for that, that Saturday, Monday. 
um, against the filed side that are well tipped to, to walk the division. We'll be having a right good go at home to, to put the type of performance on that, that we demand. Um, and then away at Curzon on, on Monday, a, a fairly localish bank holiday game. Performance wise, we've got to take the the bits that you'd want to take from this game. But you know what? We need to own the bits that we we won't be happy with, and that's important as well. Like I said, I, I knew there's things that need work. I knew that when I took the job. I knew that very early on, and I still know it now. Things take time. You, you need an opportunity to to see it, try and affect it, and ultimately improve it. Um, We'll do that every session, and we'll do that Tuesday, do that Thursday, do that Friday. So I get disappointment. It doesn't matter who we play. I think that, that's something we need to get our head around that, that they'll be they'll be where they'll be this season, and this will be a very challenging place to come. My concern is more that our performance there is the type of thing that it doesn't matter what we'll do going forward. It doesn't matter what we'll do tactically. If we aren't going to defend our defensive third, our box properly, then we're going to lose games of football. This gives me and the staff the opportunity to get right in amongst the players this week, work on that, target that ahead of a really challenging game on Saturday. I knew it was never, never going to be easy. And then again on, on Curzon and Under. So stick together, big week ahead, and um, look, we'll, we'll certainly be looking to improve for the, the double header next weekend.